Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you a full Essentials tutorial, how to configure and install it. So I will not be going over uh, the Essentials Chat or Essentials Protect, but I will be going over just about everything else. If you want a tutorial on Essentials Chat, there will be a link in the description and I'll do one on Essentials Protect very soon. So right now, once this is done downloading, I'll open up the zip file and in it you'll see the Essentials, Essentials Anti-Build, Essentials Chat, Essentials Protect, and Essentials Spawn. Now I'm going to be showing you the tutorial for everything but the two I just mentioned. So I'm going to show you the Essentials and Essentials Spawn and the Essentials Anti-Build. Now once again there will be a Essentials Chat and Essentials Protect tutorial in the description. So to install those, you just drag all of them into your plugins folder and then start up your server. And it should start up with no errors if you have it to the right version and everything like that. It should say Essentials is loaded and everything is good to go. And it's done so we can then stop our server and go into the configuration of Essentials. Now this is a very, very big configuration file and there's some other things I'll be going into. But the main thing we're going to want to be focused on is the config. Now here you have a lot of notes. I recommend reading everything, but getting right into it, we have the Essentials Global. Now this is the base of all the settings. So first the op name color, that is the color of ops. If you're going to use a chat plugin or Essentials Chat, I recommend putting that as none. You can set that 0 through 9 and A through F. Then we have the nickname prefix. This is completely optional. If you set yourself a nickname in game, it will put a prefix in front of your name, letting everybody know that that is a nickname. For my server, I have that off. Change display name. I recommend keeping that as true. That will change your display name if you're going to be using a nickname. Going down, we have the teleport cooldown. Now, this is in delay the seconds required to use between home, TP, and other teleportation commands. So, for example, you can't type spawn and then home within a certain amount of time. Right now, it's set to zero. If I set it to 10, you cannot do forward slash spawn, get to spawn, and then type forward slash home, and then be at home right away. You'd have to wait 10 seconds for that. And then we have the delay. So, this is say you type forward slash home. Instead of teleporting you right away, you can give yourself a 3 second delay, so you cannot move for 3 seconds. That's good for PvP servers and things like that. And then we have the teleport invulnerability. I think that's how you say that. This is the seconds for how much after a player teleports, how long it will take for them to uh, take damage in. So for example, 5 seconds after they're teleported, they will not take damage for 5 seconds. And then we have heal cooldown, so if you give players your access to the heal command, this will be in seconds how long they won't how long they'll have to wait to be able to use it again. For example, if I set it to 120, that will take two minutes for people to be able to use that again. And then we have the item spawn blacklist. Now if you're running a server that gives your players access to the um, item spawning commands, you can set blacklists. So for example, if you don't want your people to be able to spawn stone, um, grass or dirt, you can set that so now they cannot spawn stone, grass, or dirt. But I recommend actually using things like eggs, TNT, and things like that. And then you can turn on permission based item spawning. So if you want to use these right here, this is an example. So for essentials, item spawn, item all, then you could do item name, item IDs, and all that. That's that. Or you can just use the blacklist, which is much easier than giving a permission per item spawn. Unless if you want to give a user group access to just spawning one type of item, you may want to use this. And then we have spawn mob limit. So the spawn mob command is a command you could type spawn certain type of mobs. And this sets how many of those mobs you can spawn at a time. By default, it's 10. I usually set it to something ridiculous like 100 because I'm the only one that uses that command and sometimes I like to have fun. And then we have shall we notify users using the lightning command. So this will notify a user if we're going to smite them. So I usually keep this as false because I don't like people knowing they're being smited. But that will that's an option for you. Now overridden commands. 
This is commands that if a different plugin is using the command, this will override that plugin's command and let Essentials get the credit. So if you have a different God command, or if you, I mean, if you have a different plugin that uses the God command, and if you were to use this, that would make it so it will use the Essentials God command over the plugin that also has the God command. And then we have disabled commands, so if you don't want commands that are within this plugin, or if there's a different plugin that uses essentials commands and you want that plugin to take priority you can just straight up disable the essentials commands right out of there and then these are all the player commands you can use I recommend keeping this as is unless if you want to remove certain things this is everything that will inherit the essentials permissions so for example essentials.afk that's the afk command essentials.compass that's the compass command or the compass tool essentials.home, that's the home command, and etc. Then we have kits now. These are little kits of tools that you can give your players. You can set delays, you can set uh, the items, efficiencies, and things like that. It's really not that complicated. You could change the name to add more. You just highlight this one, move down, and add a new one, and you could do something like VIP kit. You can set a delay of a minute and then change the items to let's say the VIP will get five blocks of dirt. So since the item ID for dirt is two and I'm adding a five, that is five blocks of dirt. And then we have essentials sign control. So this is the signs. You can have time signs repair signs, heal signs, and all these kind of signs. So, for example, if you wanted there to be a time sign where people can go up and change the time via clicking on the sign, you just do that, and now people have access to the time sign. Me, personally, I do not use Essentials signs. I find it unnecessary. Well, how I use servers, I find it unnecessary. And this is sign used per second, so how many times you can use the sign for every second. The If somebody spam clicks and gets like 10 uses of a sign in under a second that could cause lag and it's recommended to keep, I just recommend keeping that as is. And I recommend not even using essential signs actually. It's not really worth the hassle. Then we have backup and this just creates simple little server backups. I'm not going to get in too much into this. You can read the info right here. Then we have the per warp permission. Now, if there's certain warps you don't want your players going to and you want to give your players permission for each warp, an example would be essentials dot warp. Now, and that would give your players access to all of the warps, but if you had this on, you would have to do dot warp and then build area for them to go to the build area warp or however you have that set up. And then we have the sort lists by groups, so if you type forward slash list it will have it will either just list all the names or it'll have something like this guest name 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 admin name name something like that. That's the uh list by group. And then we have debug, I recommend keeping that as false unless if you're having problems or you're a developer and you want to look at things, they'll just display all the errors and more information in the console. And then we have remove god on disconnect, I set this to true, T-R-U-E. So when somebody disconnects and if they have god mode on, it'll automatically take it off. Auto AFK, this will, in seconds, automatically set a player to AFK, auto AFK kick. I usually have this on to 900, three times as much as auto AFK. This will automatically kick a person for being AFK for this amount of time. Freeze AFK players, that will make it so they cannot move, and they have god mode temporarily while they are AFK. Disable item pickup while AFK, obviously that will make it so if you're AFK you cannot pick up items. Now cancel AFK on move, so on move it will cancel your AFK, I recommend keeping that as true because some people set themselves as AFK and then try to get the advantages of these, so just keep that as true. Death messages, this will disable death messages, so if you die it will say this person has died. 
I recommend keeping that as true. Your server, do whatever you want. No god in the world, so if you don't want the god mode command working or to be able to have it in certain worlds, you can just set worlds in here. Then we have the world teleport permission, so you can set um, permissions to go to certain worlds. So the command would, I mean, the permission node would be essentials, worlds, and then the world name. So people would need that permission to go to certain worlds. Default item stack. That's just exactly what it says. Oversized stack 64. That's how much stuff you get if you use the item command. Repair enchanted. So if you use the repair enchanted command, I mean if you use the permission, it will allow you to repair the enchanted items. Register back in listener. If you do not want essentials to keep track of previous locations for back for the teleport listener, you can set blah blah blah. So that I just recommend keeping that how it is. Login attack delay. So this is how many seconds you have to wait before people can cause damages after you log in. Max fly speed. So this is how fast you can fly when you're in creative. I think when you're in creative. I'm not sure if that applies with mods, but tamper with that if you want to. And then we have Essentials Home, which is obviously part of Essentials because there's no Essentials Home plugin. So update bed at daytime. I recommend keeping that as true. World home permission false. You can read into these if I'm not going in depth enough. Now set home multiple. So if you have the default, which is set home multiple VIP, you'll have three. Actually, default is three, so people can have up to three homes if they just have set home multiple. If they have the VIP, they can set home. If they have VIP extension, they can set up to five homes. If they have the staff extension, they can set up to 10 homes and you can obviously change these and if you change this it will change the uh, permission node and you can change the amount of homes they get. TPA accept cancellation so the set the time in seconds for a player must accept via teleport request is cancelled so if somebody tries to teleport to somebody and it takes them more than a minute to respond the teleport request will automatically be uh, cancelled. You can change that to whatever you want. Then we have essentials economy this is the um, it's kind of like economy, but it's built into essentials. You can set a starting balance, command costs. I personally do not use the command cost system, but you can set that if you want to. It's good for um, donors or balancing out commands. Max money, minimum money. So that's obviously the max amount of money one player can have, and the minimum amount of money one player can have. Then we have the economy log enabled. This will log all interactions with trading, buying, and selling with signs and commands. And then we have essentials help, non-essentials and help. Just keep that as true. Hide permissions help, true. Read on that if you want to. Essentials chat, I'll have a different link to that in the description. Essentials protect, I haven't done that tutorial yet. That's basically just a lightened up version of World Guard. Essentials anti-build. So this first one, if people have build false and permissions, they should be allowed to build. Right now it's set to true. Obviously you can change that to false if you want to. Use, which is to use items like redstone and stuff, you can set that to true or false. Warn on build disallow, you can set that to true to warn an admin on that. And then you can alert for certain types of blocks to be alerted. Um, blacklist for blocks. And then we have the essential spawn and new players so when the player first joins it's going to say welcome a player name to the new server you can change that as you wish spawn point newbies I recommend you keeping that as that unless if you want to create a special spawn with a command set spawn new so if you did set spawn and then first spawn you would want to change this to first spawn so that would be the first spawn point and then we have the kit tool so if you want players to start off with a certain kit which we talked about above you can set that respawn listener priority you can set the, that to high and then respawn at home you can set that to false so that will set respawn the player at their first home and that is it for the essentials config i hope this tutorial has helped you in some sort of way if you're confused with essentials if i have not covered something or if you're still having trouble please feel free to leave a comment and I may answer or somebody else in the community may help you. Also, 
please comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a great day. There will be all the links in the description. And goodbye.